Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 online connected franchise mode game. Today is the regular season finale for the primetime football league. The San Francisco 49ers enter this game with a 5-10 record, simply playing for pride and maybe draft positioning as they throw an interception to start it off to Steven Terrell. The Seattle Seahawks on the other side of the spectrum are 14-1 entering this game with a two seed in a first round bye already secured as Trevon Boykin throws the pass right there. That is not a misprint. That is the rookie out of TCU, Boykin, throwing the third down pass to Brandon Williams. And you guys are going to see a lot of backup Seahawks take the field today as Boykin leaves the pocket. He's got mobility, and he takes it all the way to the 13-yard line, second down and two. Boykin looking the pass again to Paul Richardson, who takes it to the two, but gets injured on that play as George Farmer stuck. Up, gets half the yardage necessary for the touchdown. Boykin takes care of the rest of the drive. But unfortunately, Paul Richardson loses a... Or Gets a dislocated elbow and is out for the rest of the game. That, I believe, is the same injury that Tyler Lockett got. And he was out for like five or six week, weeks with that thing. And the reason why you guys are seeing all these backups is because we already have our playoff seeding secured. The Eagles have the one seed. We're going to be the two seed. We have nothing to play for in this game. And all we really want to do is escape this game without any injuries. And in order to do that, the best way is to make sure guys like Jimmy Graham, Russell Wilson, Doug Baldwin, Richard Sherman, etc. Just don't see the field and don't take the chance of getting injured. So, we're playing our backups in this game, but we're still... Still trying to win it as that is a touchdown by Brashad Perriman as my opponent goes and misses the PAT right afterwards. So we still have a one point lead as we throw it to Farmer and Farmer going to take this ball for a first down off the screen pass. Boykin off to a pretty good start so far, but he's under pressure and throws an incompletion second down trying to get this run game going, but... We haven't been able to do that all season, and with the backup in there, probably not going to happen today. It's third down and five. Boykin is taken down. Eric Armstead, I believe, met him in the backfield, and we end up punting the ball away. So you guys won't be seeing the stars like Russell Wilson, etc. today. But let's have some fun. Let's meet some of these Seattle Seahawks backups, and maybe we can win a game. This is a 5-10 and 10 San Francisco 49er team, so we might have a chance to pull this one through. We did beat the 49ers in a blowout fashion the first time we met them in Seattle, as that was almost an interception on the screen pass and instead I believe it's Frank Gore that's going to get the first down the quarterback for the Niners has changed since we last played against them it is Jimmy Garoppolo they traded away Blaine Gabbard I believe some draft pick to get Jimmy G as their new franchise quarterback as they run the ball get a huge crease and it's gonna walk right in for a touchdown he could have strolled in he could have crawled in for that touchdown as you see my opponent Shays calling the timeout right there because he wants to go for the two-point conversion to make it a full touchdown game under pressure. And he's got his man for the PAT, but he's going to kick the ball out of bounds. That's going to be our ball to start at the 40-yard line. So he's having a little bit of trouble kicking. This is a rainy day today as we take a shot downfield for Jermaine Curse, who comes up with the catch at the 21-yard line. Next play, play action, Boykin under pressure. And he's got his man, Kenny Lawler, with the catch. You guys remember Waller? He got that, what do you call, hurdling touchdown against the Saints. His only catch of the season prior to that reception is second down. This is Boykin under pressure, and Travone loses it, but thankfully we pick it up right back, but we don't have much of a chance to convert a third down and goal from the 19-yard line. We're giving it a try, hitting Waller, but that's not going to move the chains, and we end up settling for the field goal, and it is up and good by Steven Hauschka, and that'll give us a 10-14 deficit to work with. He runs a screen pass once again. We are all over it, and we end up getting the sack from Sam Barrington. So one issue that arise during this game as he throws a dangerous pass on 2nd and 21 is that we had Paul Richardson get injured, and because of that, as Sam Barrington gets the interception, what a lurk, and it's going to change the field position. We're going to have to play some of our star receivers throughout this game. You guys saw Curse get a catch. Doug Bowen's going to end up getting some rest because we just simply do not have anyone else to play the wide receiver position as first and goal. That's Bowen in the back of the end zone. That's a touchdown and a three-point lead for us as we get the sack from Cassius Marsh coming off the edge right there. No Michael Bennett, no Cliff Averill, no Mike Morgan, so we're going to need some of these no-name guys to really step it up, and they're doing a good job on that drive, putting the pressure on Garoppolo and forcing the incompletion. The other name you guys might be familiar with on this team that isn't on the real 49ers team and wasn't there when we played them in, I believe, week three is Luke Wilson. 
and Luke Wilson used to be on our team, but we traded away Luke Wilson for a third round pick as Lawler not able to get that catch in traffic. Third down, Farmer up the middle, and he's going to fight, fight, fight until he moves those chains. Gotta love that effort. These guys are playing to win the game. They are not playing as if they were the backups. Thankfully, that wasn't cursed. That got injured right there. That was actually Aaron Lynch as we throw out the Farmer. But look at these, look at these guys go. They're not playing like backups. They're playing like they want to start for someone else. If not, Seattle next season as Boykin downfield incomplete over shoots the receiver we had a lot of open space even an open receiver as we run the fake to brandon williams for the first down fake shovel and we're gonna keep this drive alive this is a sim league so you're supposed to you know usually kick the field goal in that situation as we had a guy open right there but a good swap by his defender but you're allowed one fake pat slash field goal per game or um slash punt slash field goal per game and we cashed in on ours right there on fourth and inches why not as boykin under pressure a lot we still have our starting offensive line out there as we're going to take the field goal with Hauschka, but it goes wide right. Something you do not see happen often when watching the Seattle Seahawks. A missed field goal from Steven Hauschka. It hasn't happened since the first week, and he bookends it with a miss in the last week of the season. As last play before half, Garoppolo just going to give it his all. Little prayer, and that's going to go up pretty much into the stands right there. We go into halftime with a three-point lead. A hard-fought game right now as Jermaine Curse. Probably not a good idea by me to be hurtling with my second string wide receiver in a game that I said had no meaning to it as far as our playoff positioning or anything like that. But um, nonetheless... You know, it's not like I'm just running random stuff out here. I'm still trying to, you know, try offense out as we get the first down to Doug Ball and start trying to see what kind of plays work and stuff like that. I am trying out a couple of different plays that we might use in the playoffs if they work. You guys will see a couple of funky formations and stuff like that as Boykin is under pressure and taken down once again. Third and 25. Just going to throw a screen pass right here. Not going to risk throwing an interception. Just punt the ball back to him and see if he could do any work on our defense as that punt is going to be down at about the 26-yard line. Uh, a lot of rainy conditions, a lot of windy conditions. As it seems like all of our CFM games are as the ball is loose and picked up by the Niners So a little bit of rough kicking conditions for even the punters out there as he throws a little drag, drag route right there Gets about half the yardage necessary to move the chains third down little check down Not even gonna come close to moving the chains right there. We'll give him that he wants to catch a three yard pass like that That's okay as he punts it almost goes into our end zone But farmer is gonna return this one and look at him go getting the edge He's at midfield and he tried to get a little bit more nonetheless great Starting field position for us as Boykin just continues to hit the deck. Navarro Bowman that time with the sack. This is a pretty good game going on right now. It, it may be nothing on the line, but for you guys, even for me, it's a good fun game to be a part of. It's a good fun game to watch as we get a great dot from Boykin on third down to Lawler. You would not expect that. Our second string wide receiver, our second string quarterback to our fifth string wide receiver working out the way it did. But man, Boykin is playing one heck of a game in rainy conditions. He is nearly spotless when it comes to these passes. We're going to take a shot for the end zone for Lawler. That's incomplete. I saw Doug Baldwin was open, but I really don't want to throw Doug Ball in the ball too much because I don't want him to get hurt as Jermaine Curse right on cue I keep on putting Jermaine Curse in really dangerous situations as we take a shot for Baldwin I really won that touchdown right there probably should not be putting Baldwin in that situation but nonetheless we throw a screen pass to Jermaine Curse and this time I'm trying to win this game to be honest I, I'm just forgetting about the injuries I'm trying to get the W and that's gonna help a third down pass to our starting fullback who's gonna get that catch we're making sure Jimmy Graham is protected he's got bubble wrap on the sidelines all right Jimmy Graham Jimmy Graham is not going to get hurt in this game. He's an injury-prone player. He's going to be playing for us in the playoffs no matter what. He and Russell Wilson, Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, Richard Sherman, all those guys are being heavily protected today. And Doug Baldwin, who has been injured before this season... I, don't, I didn't want to play him, but Paul Richardson got hurt. So we kind of got our hand forced a little bit. Third down off the edge. That's another sack for the Seahawks defense. Kevin Pierre-Lewis. And on fourth and 19, down by two possessions. Going forward, stepping up. Garoppolo takes a shot. And it's caught. It's Prashad Perriman again in traffic. First and goal for Jimmy G. And he's got his man. Perriman once again gets half the yardage necessary. Looking to punch it in here. And he does. And the PAT is going to be no good. And that's big right there. Second missed PAT of the game. This one 
makes it a touchdown to win the game instead of a field goal to win the game for him. So a lot happened in that one little miss that you guys wouldn't really think as we come out passing on first and 10, taking a shot for Baldwin, and Boykin puts it on the money. Trevon Boykin is having himself a day. His first career start, no interceptions, no really mistakes in this game in general until there. I tried to throw the ball to A, and they kind of pump fake me for some reason. It's third down and nine. What a timing throw by curse but the san francisco 49ers do not think he got both feet in bounds they challenge the play with the ruling on the field is upheld we get the ball at the 27 yard line next play that was a dangerous pass that was a bad decision by us right there but still boykin is playing one heck of a game we throw the screen pass but there is a flag on the field we gotta check this flag most likely holding in this situation and it is by gilliam and that's gonna send us instead of a third down and two to a second down and 20 borderline field goal range like i said we're still trying to win this game we gotta try to get a first down and we're looking for Bowen, who cannot come up with the catch at this point. We got to at least make sure we get a safe field goal. Third and 20. Bowen with the catch. That's going to get us a lot of yardage and make this field goal a lot easier in the rain. Hauschka up and back to his good ways, making it. But in this situation, a touchdown can tie the game and go to overtime. That's the last thing I really want. If he gets a touchdown, I really hope he goes for two because I do not want to see overtime. I'm trying to get this game over. I'm trying to get my W2 as he throws it. And it's a catch in traffic, but there's a flag and it's defensive pass interference on the man who was covering the catch. That is one great play. Another flag hits the field. Flags are being flown all over the place. This time it's on the 49ers and this one is big. It's a holding penalty and we're going to accept it for a first down in 20. Garoppolo, the heat gets to him. Cassius Marsh with two and a half sacks. Here comes another one. That's Jeremy Lane putting out the slot. Third and 36, down by seven. That's going to be an incompletion intended for Luke Wilson, the former Seattle Seahawks. Fourth down and forever. Game on the line. Garoppolo did not stand a chance on that drive. Coyle comes in and daggers his hopes as George Farmar gets into the end zone and doubles the lead. But that 49ers offensive line really did not do Garoppolo any justice on that last drive. He got sacked three or four times. And now at this point, I believe... um. My man Chase was looking to get out the season. He was looking to get, he told me before the game, he's just looking forward to the draft. So after this play, seeing Jimmy G take a shot like that, I think he decided, you know what? Let me not get my franchise quarterback injured or anything like that. Let's just go to the offseason. And that will end the San Francisco 49ers season. We end our season with a 3-0 sweep against our division rivals. And that will conclude our season, our regular season, with a 15-1 record. Next up for the Seattle Seahawks, a first round bye and then a divisional round game. So there's going to be a little bit of a delay before our next game because we have to um, advance from this se week 17 and then the divisional round is going to happen. So it might take a couple of days extra before the next video comes out. But um, I'm going to have an extra CFM video coming out to you guys soon, probably tomorrow, going over all the stats, all the end of season stats. We'll see who won MVP or at least whenever the regular season ends. I'll be going through all those stats. So you guys can be aware for that video. I'm not going to do any of that post game stuff right Right now i want to do a long end of regular season video so you guys can see everything that's been going on so leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more men in 17 on connected franchise and all that stuff we like in the video if you guys enjoyed that Trevon trevon boykin performance today because that was amazing man boykin he looked like he could be a starting quarterback in an nfl team someday the way he played today so we like you guys enjoyed that subscribe for more men in 17 and i'll catch you guys next time